All right, I should have a texture brush over here. I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use that on normal. And what I'm going to do with this is take these really vivid reds, lower the opacity on this brush a lot, and start working these through. These are little tiny dots, so it really bring out the resolution on things. Try to keep away from the edge if possible because again, you'd be cutting back all day on uh, the outside of the form. And I'm just constantly, constantly changing the dot ratio by making the brush bigger and smaller. Okay, at this point, I want to start making a, just a little background here. So what I'm going to do is make that, and what I'm going to do is steal a couple colors here, like this real, real, real light pink, and maybe this uh, darker vermilion there. There we go. And now take your gradient tool and choose that. Now, I think it's going to go light to dark. So let's try that out. Nope. So what I'm going to do is switch these colors. And yeah, that looks okay. What I'm going to do is lower the opacity on it though. When you're painting on top of something that's kind of like the same color ratio, it really does help. Um, not quite sure how too much, but uh, it, for me, it helps. I don't know if it's going to help you, but that's how I kind of like doing it. Okay, so back to here, back to normal. And because there is a little bit of white in this, in the outside edge. I'm going to show you a little trick here, but first I want to darken up some of these edges. Okay, and I want to do that on this layer. Okay, what I'm doing now is really working the outside of the form and giving it that that razor edge because look at that razor edge is occurring right there once I do it I go back a little bit and just kind of introduce that color back in really like that green.
I'll probably reintroduce it and then I'll tint back over the top of it real low like All right, now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to kind of ramp color using some of the tools.